Hello ladies and gentlemen and others. Welcome to Bright Model Engineering and my series of building a seven and a quarter inch gauge model of Great Western Railway 1400 class 042 known as DART. For reference seven and a quarter inch gauge is approximately inch and a half to a foot and recognized as the smallest rail gauge to safely carry passengers. Derailments do still happen, but they tend not to fall over and potentially injure the driver or passengers. The model Dart came about as in 1981 Martin Evans was talking to the editor of Model Engineer magazine and they were discussing that 7.25 inch gauge was becoming more popular. So Martin Evans offered to design and make a model of a Great Western 1400 class that will be relatively easy to build but be semi-scale very recognisable as a 1400 but be practical as a model he named the project DART after number 1450 which was preserved and based on the DART Valley Railway in 2012 John Smith who admits enjoying looking at full size then designing and making scale models looked at DART and some of the shortcomings with the original design and improvements to make it closer to the original, i.e. close scale. I've always thought there was only one issue with the original and Martin Evans had corrected it. Turns out there are several and all addressed by John Smith. I've been looking at several options for a seven and a quarter inch gauge locomotive and DART was one. Looking at Google one day, I discovered a part-built chassis, several castings with it at a good price and purchased it. So I acquired a chassis that wasn't fully bolted together, wheels that had been turned, but the drivers hadn't been born, bored for the crank pins, cast iron cylinder set, unmachined, slide valves and buckles, unmachined, lots of printed information copies of the original Martin Evans and John Smith series in Model Engineer, some photos of prototype and models, copies of magazine articles in general, as well as interesting facts about the history of the class. With both designers articles I had to firstly determine which version chassis I have. From the outline and dimensions I was easily able to determine it was Martin Evans. However, looking at the John Smith design, I decided I would like to build this version with the improvements. Well, most of them anyway. The original prototype has 10 spoke trailing wheels. John Smith does specify 10. Martin the Evans model has 12 spoke trailing wheels. As what I bought included 12 spoke turned wheels, I'll be using them rather than purchase others and turning them. John Smith's policy with the design has been if it was visible it should be scale if unseen and allow variations for more practical model tolerances. There are several modifications that need to be made to the chassis of the, to bring it up to John Smith design. Martin Evans chassis is quite close to the original design and John Smith does state it is possible to modify relatively easy but there are two exceptions one minor one major the major is adding extensions to the rear of the frames to hold the brake shaft and bearings rear guard irons the minor is just under the front buffer beam there are several other several holes need drilling and some that need filling For filling the recommended approach is to countersink both sides and add a rivet smoothing out after Instead of the coil springs Martin Evan designed, John Smith opted for leaf springs as the original. To this end, the bottom of the horn blocks needs modifying to accept the new design. I've asked the local society for advice on adding the metal. I'm going to cut away and then MIG weld extensions in, hopefully without causing distortion. The stretchers need some modifications and once all the modifications have been made then I'll be adding everything that needs to be fixed to the frames, brackets, footplate supports and later heading towards getting a rolling chassis. That will be coming up in the next instalments. I hope people stick around and see progress. 
you plan to then the usual plug click the subscribe button to get notifications now there will likely be a few distractions along the way all model engineering related and hopefully interesting for example when the build is nearly complete I need driving truck and as I anticipate hauling passengers a few passenger trucks uh, all model engineering related Anyway, right, thank you for watching and I hope you follow on in the forthcoming series and enjoy. Thank you.